So I think the first task of today is going to be to spray this and then get some hanging um, bracket things on it and hang it up. If you're interested, I'm going to be spraying it with the Krylon UV Archival Spray. Yeah, that's my main one that I use all the time and that's what that is getting and I think I'm going to hang that up here because what I had planned for up here doesn't look like I'm going to be <laughs> really working on it anytime soon so I think that would make a nice addition to the studio at least for a bit. So here we have the finished sprayed artwork that's all set and I'm going to be adding things into the back to hang it. So we've got my hanging supplies here so I'm going to be using our a couple of these little hook things and then the picture hanging wire. There, all hung up on the wall. So I wouldn't necessarily normally be vlogging on a Friday, but I got something really exciting and that's what I'm going to be doing today is setting it up. This, the Cricut Explore Air 2. I am so, so excited. I mean, I get excited about any type of technology really, but I am super duper excited about this because it's going to help me a lot creating some awesome products for you guys and just some awesome artwork. If you don't know, it's a cutting machine. I'm going to be using it to cut sticker packs for my store and other types of paper cutting art. It's just going to be awesome, all of the stuff that I'm going to be able to do with this. So the plan for today is to get it set up, but first I need to clean up <laughs> this because it's probably going on top of this Alex unit and it's turned into my snack corner. So plan of the day, clean this up, then have some fun setting stuff up. They're all cleaned up and the Cricut is in place. It's super cool. It has this open button and it literally opens itself up, which is awesome. I have the tools that I bought already in here. It's so far an awesome looking and designed machine. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, but that's what I'm going to be doing probably all weekend um, and even next week. I want to start producing a ton of stuff, so it's definitely going to be what I'm playing around with for the <laughs> foreseeable few days, probably non-stop. Well, there's the first test project done. I mean, for a first try, it actually went amazingly easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I had the Rebel Artist design already made, so I figured I would try and make some stickers, and yeah, they turned out pretty great. Um, I just didn't quite line up the one side too well, and you can definitely see it in some of the lower ones. Some of the edges are a bit cut off. But yeah, it is going to be a very fun weekend. So today is super busy test day for all of the different new products I want to add to my store. But the first thing that was on the agenda this morning was this. I'm not sure if you can see, there you can kind of see the score lines. But this is a vinyl decal of Darth Maul for my dad's car because he requested it. And I have the machine now, so now it's made. There, now you can definitely see it better. That's what's going on the vehicle, and it's going to go on black, so it's going to look super, super cool. But yeah, this was my first time trying vinyl out, and as usual, <laughs> the things look epic. I also did this quick test design. This is cardstock. I wanted to see how accurately it would cut, and it, well, I wanted to see if it could cut as accurately as I could, and it definitely can. So today I'm going to mainly be working on designs for paper cut prints, which is something I've wanted to try adding for, to my store for a long time, and now I have the machine to make that possible. 
So here's the first design I'm going to try working on today. I actually had like all of these elements already made. I made this um, design that's like in Breath of the Wild for my Champion series. So I already had that done. I already had the Sheikah eye done for some reason, not sure. Um, but now what I have to do <clears throat> is edit this design so that it is all connected because this is all going to get cut out of paper and it needs to all be connected in order to work. So that's what I'm working on and then I guess I'm gonna cut it out and see how it looks. And here is the final test. I think it looks super awesome. I have to fix a couple of things, um, just alignment wise and stuff. But yeah, I think that turned out really awesome. It's funny because this is the mat now with all the cut up pieces still on it that I'll have to get rid of those. But yeah, test one I'd say was a success. And so I guess I'll just fix up make sure like all the alignment is good and then that will be ready to be available on my store. It feels like it's been an age since I last vlogged when in reality I think it's only been two days but I mean two days out of a weekly vlog is like a lifetime. But I've just been super busy creating new designs for my store. I don't want to show you too much um, when you are watching this vlog that Friday, May 11th, there will be a video coming out detailing out all the new products and some special announcements and things. So if you are interested in any of the new stuff that I've kind of been showing you behind the scenes, definitely look out for that video on May 11th. I still need to film the video that's coming out on May 11th showing off all of the new stuff so I need to have everything prototyped so I, I can at least show a physical version of most things plus putting up all of the product photos in my store. It's just a lot. Um, especially I have quite a few things to do because I am leaving for Ottawa that Thursday so I need everything finished and ready to go well before then, the video ready to go all of that stuff. Um, so it's just, it's a lot. Not to mention, I wanted to have sticker sheets um, going up at the same time for like the new product relaunch special kind of thing. Um, but I'm waiting on the sticker paper, um, so I'm not sure if they're going to go up right away. Another thing that I really wanted wanted to do was light box kits because they've been something that a lot of people have been asking about for a long time and I haven't had time um, to get those test cut and um, get all of the instructions and stuff. So even like beyond May 11th, there's going to be a whole bunch of new awesome stuff in my store. I want to start up my Etsy store again outside of my website. Um, there's just a lot going on. On Monday, I actually filmed my art supplies collection video, and so I've been working on editing that and getting that all ready to go up on Friday. So. That's what Friday's video was, so if you missed that, definitely check that out if you're interested in art supplies and organization and all that stuff. But yes, yeah, super, super busy. I mean, I'm being like chained to my iPad Pro. I don't think I've been like stuck to that iPad this entire time that I've had it into like this week. It's been intense with the iPad Pro. I'm like sleep, I'm literally sleeping with it. <laughs> like it has been beside me in bed because I basically drawn until I'm ready to like pass out and then go to sleep. It's in bed with me. But yes, things are turning out really, really awesome. I'm super excited about all of the stuff to come out and I hope you are all excited too. So I think this afternoon is just more making designs, products, test things, lots of that stuff. I mean, I should be probably taking product photos at some point, but 
Still need to prototype a few more designs. One thing I will show you though is I have mastered the Cricut setup to what I'm happy with. So I have my Cricut here, I'll open it up. Very satisfying and cool. Um, I really like the design because in here you actually have storage. So this one is normally for blades, although right now I don't have any in there. Um, just because I don't want to take them out of the packaging yet because I don't need them right now. And then in this one I have some of my tools. Scrapers, some tweezers. I bought one of the um, like basic starter tool sets which has been coming in really handy so I've got some of those in here. Although right now this has been the tool that I've been using the most just to poke some of the paper bits out um, that like the cutout bits out from the part that is the print. I know it looks like a dentist tool. <laughs> Um, this is the scoring, embossing, pen thing, tweezers, a lifter, and then a small scraper. And then in this top drawer, which has all like tech stuff, I have this area, which is now Cricut stuff too. So I have a bigger scraper, which I'm using all of the time, the scissors that came in the set, um, a pen that came in the set, these tweezer things. And then all of the blades that I bought because Michael's was having a sale, so I figured I would stock up now. And yeah, that's the setup that we've got going on right now. Took a break this afternoon from continuously designing things and finished editing my art supplies collection video and I'm uploading it. It is a 50 minute monster of a video. So as I mentioned, if you haven't seen it already, it is up by the time you are watching this vlog. It'll be the latest video after or before this video. Anyway, yeah, uploading that now. And yep, that's what I've done all afternoon. And now I'm probably going to go sit somewhere with my iPad and draw more. <laughs> I did mean to vlog yesterday, but I kind of got caught up in a bunch of stuff. I did get my hair cut, so that's why we're looking fresh again. Um, but yes, yesterday I just, again, kind of wore and continued to work on more of the paper cut print designs. I was actually converting a couple of my own previous artworks into some paper cut prints um, of the more popular artworks that I know you guys really like. I was going to try a couple and see how they turned out into paper, so that's what I was mainly doing last night was designing those on my iPad. Um, I've test cut them and that's kind of just what I've been up to. Although I do have something to show you that is not going to be like a spoiler to the other thing that I was working on on Wednesday night. So this is what I was working on on Wednesday night. Props if you know what show this is from. But yes, this was a new design. It is cut paper. <laughs> I kind of threw it together in like under two hours, got it all cut out. The piano keys are all there. Yeah, super happy with how this turned out. And I just thought you guys might like to see it. So I think that's actually going to be it for this week's Behind the Studio vlog. I hope you've all had a great week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. This is Afterthought Michaela. I just realized that this is going to be the last video that I put up before I am actually in Ottawa. So if you are going to Ottawa Comic Con on Friday, May 11th, I will be there, so if you see me, say hi. I'm going to be in my Sabine armor. So yeah, it'd be super cool to meet some of you guys if any of you are going. But yes, that's now I'm going to end the vlog. Hey.